Greetings, chums, and welcome to another wonderful episode of Let's Read with Mr. Toth. Now, all Thursdays are theme-free Thursdays, so I read any book that takes my desire, and we have a splendid book to read today entitled Jack and the Beanstalk. Now, Jack and the Beanstalk is illustrated by Joe Perry and Marie Allen and is published by Actura's Publishing. I do insist you all go out and buy a copy. It is absolutely marvelous. For now, though, let's get the story underway. A long time ago, a boy named Jack lived with his mother. They were very poor. We will have to sell the cow, Jack, said his mother one day. Take her to market and get as much for her as you can. Jack set off along the road with the cow. Before he had gone very far, he met an old man. I can see you are a clever boy, the man told Jack. So listen to me. If you give me your cow, I will give you something much more precious. All right, said Jack. The old man handed over a small bag. In there, he said, are five magic beans. They are very rare indeed. Jack couldn't wait to get home with his barking. You did what? yelled his mother when Jack showed her the beans. You silly boy. There's no such thing as magic beans. Angrily, she threw the beans out of the window and sent Jack to bed without any supper. When Jack woke up the next morning, the room was dark. A huge beanstalk was growing outside his window. It had grown from the magic beans. In a second, Jack had crawled out of the window and was climbing up the beanstalk as fast as he could. Jack climbed and climbed. The beanstalk grew up through the clouds. At the top, Jack was amazed to find that he was in another country. He could see a huge castle in the distance, so he set off towards it. The castle door was enormous, but Jack knocked boldly. A woman opened it. Quick, quick, come in, she cried. If my husband the giant finds you here, he'll eat you. Jack hurried inside. A moment later, he heard a great roar. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. The woman pushed Jack into the oven to hide. Luckily, it was not hot. Peering out, Jack saw the giant eating his dinner. When the giant had finished his meal, he began to count gold coins into a bag. At last, he fell asleep. Quick as a flash, Jack jumped out of the oven, grabbed the bag of coins, and scampered down the beanstalk. Jack's mother was overjoyed to see the coins. For a few months, all was well, but then the money began to run out. Jack decided to climb the beanstalk once more. He headed straight for the castle, where the kind woman opened the door again. Everything happened just as before, but this time, when the giant had eaten, he asked for his golden hen. To Jack's amazement, the hen laid a golden egg. The giant smiled and went to sleep. Instead of stealing the golden egg, Jack picked up the hen and ran home. With a hen that laid a golden egg each day, Jack and his mother had no more worries, but Jack decided to have one last adventure. He climbed the beanstalk and went through the same routine. This time, when the giant had eaten, he called, Bring me my harp. His wife brought a golden harp, which began to play all by itself. At once, the giant fell asleep. Jack grabbed the harp and ran to the door. Oh, stop! cried the magic harp. The giant woke up and stormed after Jack. When Jack reached the beanstalk, he held himself down it. Mother, he yelled, fetch the axe. Jack swung the axe. The huge beanstalk fell, and with it tumbled the giant, never to trouble anyone again. Jack could not climb to magic lands anymore, but he and his mother lived happily ever after. Well, wasn't that splendid? I especially like the part where Jack traded the cow for beans. I personally would have traded a cow for vast sums of cash, but each to their own. Feel free now to run out and buy this book for most good book retailers in your area, or many fine online booksellers, some of which are noted in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for books you would like me to read, please leave a message in the comments or on my Facebook or Twitter pages. I hope you enjoyed today's book, and I will see you again next time. Until then, toodaloo!